Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today we are in the Ridge Apiary, and we have got some major news for you about our six colonies. Let's get inside of them and see what's going on. Let's see if there's any small hive beetles. Oh yeah, small hive beetles, kill them all, kill them all, oh, oh. All right, don't like those creatures. Welcome to the house of pain. We're going to start our inspection today with buck bees. Buck bees are the ones you've been asking about. The last one we transferred over from the styrofoam cooler. It was the fourth swarm catch of the year. And uh, you know, we opened it up and had all that comb in there. And we did the cutout and put it in the frames. We saw the queen, we caught the queen. The queen got out of my uh, cage. The cage, I looked at it, it had a little bend in it. And someone, one of the viewers in the comments actually said, hey, we saw it get out at this time. Go check that out, it's pretty cool. You can actually see the queen get out of the, uh, the little cage I put her in, but it had a little bend in the, in the metal and that's what allowed her to get out. But we're gonna open it up today. And as you can see, no activity. And there's a story behind that. Let's go ahead and open it up. But uh, as I tell you, you know, I transferred them over and I, I reduced the entrance down to the very, very small, which is what you're supposed to do. And uh, they did fine. You know, I, I, for a day or so, there was bees coming and going, but there was a problem. And I opened this up and you're going to see a problem. No bees, no bees whatsoever. I came out here like a day the next day and there were tons of small high beetle larvae on the ground and i asked some of my mentors guys what does this mean see now what we have here is a failure to communicate and they said tim it doesn't mean good that's for sure because when you open this up and you see here there is nothing there is nothing and what had happened, they didn't get robbed out initially. No, they didn't get robbed out initially. What happened was I put all of the honeycomb in here. And my mentors were like, Tim, you don't transfer the honeycomb over when you do the, 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 the transfer from, the cool, you know, from your swarm catch to your um, permanent colony. Uh, all that honey being cut up and put in is going to get everywhere and get on everything and cause a robbing situation. But, but Tim, you didn't, we didn't see the bees being robbed and, and I, didn't, I didn't have that robbing situation. Well, why is there no bees? What had happened was it stressed them so much because all these other colonies, yes, smelled the honey and they were all over here and they spent so much time defending the little entrances and they really didn't have that much investment in here yet. They were a swarm, they swarmed again, or they left, they absconded. It's called absconding. When they take the queen and all of them leave, not just half of them, all of them leave. But you can see here, you know, I did a really good job, but they, they didn't do any work on building any of this up. And then after uh, the small hive beetles had their way, and all, and they left, and all the other bees came in here, wasps and yellow jackets. I saw all kinds of stuff coming and going out of here. Um, basically, once that brood was gone, that brood hatched, they, they got out of here and uh, found them a place where they didn't have to worry about so much stuff. Move the dummy now! So I'm gonna save these frames. You know, the wax is all, I'll render that wax down. Bill makes some chapstick out of it or some candles or something. But guys, I was just talking um, to a good friend on, on Facebook today, uh, another beekeeper. I've got great beekeeper friends. I've got Adrian, I've got Bruce, I've got John, I've got Brian, I've got Chad. So many uh, good, great beekeeper friends and Colby. Um, you don't want to transfer your honeycomb over when you uh, do your cutouts and put into your box. Just, 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 just take the brood over there. If you take any, just take the brood. And uh, we are landlords of these bees, so to speak. We're landlords. We're not caretakers. We don't, and Doug, don't, I, I almost forgot Doug. We, we don't keep these bees. These bees pretty much keep to themselves, right? We're landlords, these guys. We give them a place to live, and we increase that space when we think they need more, and we decrease it when we think they have less, and we charge a rent for that landlordship. We ask the honey we give them extra box and they put extra honey in it and then we take the extra box away in the winter time and they get all their honey. But we're landlords, we're not caretakers. These, these bees don't need us, they do better without us. So many beekeepers will tell you they do so much better without us. Now, there's treatment and treatment free. Uh, I don't wanna get into all that. Um, 
you know, the strengthen the bees through natural selection and all those things. There, there's a lot of validity to those, to those conversations. But what I'm talking about now is these bees left because of what I did. I could have just left them in the cooler here and they'd have been happy forever and never would have got any honey out of them because they were in a cooler. And they would have split. They would have swarmed and swarmed and swarmed every season. And uh, th that's the natural way bees work. But uh, my job in here is to get a little honey. And I really don't want a giant apiary full of, of, of colonies. I just want, you know, four to six. This was six, really too much for me. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have five colonies. Now guys, when I did that last inspection, you all didn't see it. Um, one colony had tons of honey, tons of honey. The other colony had tons of brood, tons of brood. So I split some. I gave one some brood and gave one some honey because I don't think there was a queen in that one. We'll find out today. We're going to get into each bee's hatmaker colony. I've named after Ernie Hatmaker. She's my queen. Queen Ernie's in there. And then, of course, we got FedEx bees. FedEx bees was taken down at the, the Air, Memphis International Airport, the FedEx station. And then uh, we got family bees, which split off of FedEx bees. I, I split them. And then, of course, we've got barn bees. Ooh, barn bees was the big swarm caught on the barn. Tons of just very active bees. And then we've got family bees. Family bees is uh, split off of barn bees. And then, of course, we've got gunslinger bees, another swarm catch from the cooler. Um, so... Very, very excited. Very, very excited with all the things we've got going on here in the apiary. And uh, let's get into checking those out. No bees here. First off, we have gunslinger bees. Uh, we'll do a quick inspection of gunslinger bees. Tomorrow, lady, we gonna start the hot stuff. Gunslinger bees was another swarm catch out of a cooler like we had with buck bees. Uh, this one this one kept though. Um, I didn't have a lot of comb to bring over, just, just a little bit, and I put it in, and uh, the rest of it was drawn comb, and they really, really liked the drawn comb. Over there on buck bees, I didn't give them any drawn comb. If you recall, I just had foundation or foundationless and some uh, waxed frames, and uh, of course, comb, drawn comb, they love that. So let's get in here and check this out. First thing I see is lots of bee activity. Lots of bee activity, and if I look here, here's rubber band. The rubber band that was holding the comb in, the bees have actually cut the band and brought it out themselves onto the ground. That is pretty cool. So let's get inside here, check them out. Lots of bees in there. Love seeing lots of bees. Again, this is uh, gunslinger bees, named after Fear the Walking Dead character. We've got rubber bands everywhere. All right, let's uh, I'm just gonna do a quick inspection. The fall flow is on, everybody. Now, I won't put any um, they got this propolized really well. Oh, look at all the small high beetles! Oh, my goodness, lots of small high beetles kill all those little creatures. Don't like those a bit, and they were all congregated up hiding inside this uh, Swiffer sheets. And the bees just chase them in there and they get stuck. They get stuck inside there. So set this off to the side. I'll make sure the queen wasn't on there. No, no, she's good. All right. And again, I just want to do a cursory examination. Make sure, make sure my camera, there we go. Yeah, they got everything propolized very, very well. And let's see outside frame out first slowly 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 nothing there oh they started drawing that out they got some honey on the outside there looks very nice just do a not gonna oh yeah like what they got going on again this was a very very small hive small swarm that cooler wasn't very big they've drawn all that out the top there started filling it up a little bit some beautiful wax beautiful bees all right, here's where all the bees are now. So I'm very happy with how this colony is progressing. Gunslinger. Oh. Now, this was some of that comb that I had, um, they had in their original colony. See how it's all wonky look looking? And they glued it all back together. But they've got lots of brood on here. Gunslinger colony, Queen June. That's from, again, Fear the Walking Dead. She is doing a good job. Look at all that brood on this side. I don't see Queen June running around there just yet, but you know she's in here. You see all that brood. That's very, very nice. Lots more on this next one over. Again, the fact that I see brood, 
Makes me very happy and they've got space to grow still. Oh, look at that beautiful brood pattern. Excellent. You see the queen on here anywhere? I do not. Again, this is a foundationless frame. Oh, good job, Queen June. Let's see here. Yep, we got babies, we've got larvae, we've got cat brood, all stages. Exactly what I want to see. I'm just going a little bit farther over. I want to see that they've got some honey stores. You know, it is early fall, September here. More brood. A little honey at the top, so I want to see. A little honey at the top there. In case you wonder, see this this capped area here? That'll be honey, and then all in the center will be brood. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Let's go a little bit over. Yeah, I can see they've done a lot of work. Oh. Okay, this is some of that freshly drawn comb on a, a foundationless frame. Good job. They've got honey stores and nectar. Good job. All right, I'm very, very happy. I'm not going to go all the way over here. Oh, yeah, they've done very, very well. So push these back together slowly but surely. Make sure the queen can get out of the way if she's hiding in between. Get these in here. I'll put that one there. This one here. Yeah. There we go. All right. So this is good for the fall. Let them fill out the outside edges here and um, uh, they'll be good for the winter. Um, we'll feed them after the fall flow, you know, the, but they'll fill out all these side frames and uh, probably won't give them a second deep this year. Just make sure they stay full up uh, this winter in, in this. Make sure they got a couple, you know, four frames of honey, three frames of, of brood. That's seven. So mix, mix the, 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 the eighth one, um, but they, they should be good. We were at barn bees. Barn bee was that huge swarm catch we caught on top of the barn. These guys have been so active. Uh, um, they've been bearding since the moment I got them. I came out here the other day and we had temperatures down uh, in the high 40s and we had rain for a whole week before that. I came out here and there was a clump of bees as big as my hand dead on the front of the colony. They had bearded and they had stayed there and died. It was crazy. I don't know why they didn't. There's their space in here. I don't know why they didn't go inside or get under it, but uh, they died bearding on the outside. Uh, maybe if someone, one of my master beekeepers, want to explain to me why they would have died, just stayed there on the outside. If you don't answer me when I speak to you, I'm going to put my foot in your ass. Is that clear, dummy? Bearded up like that. Um, I've got the entrance rooster completely removed. This is a super active, super large colony. Entrance rooster cl completely removed, and they bearded up and uh, stayed there and died. I have no idea why. Never seen that before. I've seen them beard up and then go back in and beard up and go back in, and, you know, this weather changes. But no, not this time. But they're doing well. Let's get inside. And I assume they're doing well. We'll see what happens when I get inside here. Oh, they're propolized all up. Let's get in here, get this cover off. See how they're doing. Whoa, this thing's there. We go now. We're now we're now we're cooking with all right. All right, we got nice, nice bee activity. We've got a honey super on top here. I'm anxious to see if that goldenrod is filling them up. Goldenrod is blooming all throughout our area. Goldenrod is a beautiful yellow flower. Um, it's very small, small flower. You know, there's lots of yellow. It fills a whole field up. I'll, you'll see video of it. Um, and uh, they're not like big petals. They're like just clumps of uh, little uh, flowers. And uh, the bees just love it in the fall. It smells like dirty socks, though. <laughs> pollen does but the honey doesn't the honey tastes wonderful it's a darker darker honey they make from it um, but guys goldenrod is full in bloom here in west tennessee and they are bringing it in so let's see how they've done on our honey super here boy they sure have propolized this up man ah it's a bees i got a, a queen separator so there should be no queens up here and boy they sure propolized my um swiffer sheets and i bet there's a lot of Let's see if there's any small hive beetles. Oh, yeah. Small hive beetles. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, oh. All right. Don't like those creatures. Now, a strong colony takes care of themselves. 
so you really ain't got to worry about them but uh i like playing with my toys right bruce i mean like i said earlier we're not caretakers these bees we're we're landlords and uh as a, as my landlord function i like to sometimes uh give them a, a place to chase their pests. I'm, I'm part of the pest control of my landlord uh, ship and uh, they don't really need it, but I like doing it anyway as a good landlord. To, and that's how I see it. So let's see how we've got, we're doing on honey here. I am curious of how my honey preparation is looking. All right, woo, they've drawn out comb and uh, started filling it up a little bit. Not too much. This is really all I'm going to do here is just uh, check my honey production and see if I got brewed in the top box. That's really all I care about. Oh, yeah, we're starting to fill up. I fill some honey stores. They've got the wax coming out very, very well. These were all just um, waxed plastic, plasticell uh, frames, and they've drawn it out. They've got nectar being built up in there. Nothing capped yet. There's some small hive beetles. Um, but uh, get towards the center. They should have more filled. Oh, yeah. A lot heavier. You can see, get the sunlight. A lot more filled on those. Yep, yep, yep. Get towards here. Oh, man, yeah. Heavier and heavier as I go. That. Oh, yeah, look how dark that is. Look how dark that is, guys. See in the center there? More on this side, but they actually... Get those pretty now here we go this one oh that one's heavier much fuller much fuller now again the the fall flow is is really not been in very long and uh so they're gonna get this capped up in the next couple weeks and i'll be extracting honey all right so they've got wax wax all out so these are all full of wax now which makes me happy because some of the colonies I gave up, uh, you know, um, extracted set, uh, um, frames and they didn't have to build wax. And then some of them I gave ones they had to build wax. So um, not too bad. Um, go ahead and get the uh, cover back on this. I'm going to open it up, take a quick look, make sure I got brewed. But I ain't going to bore you with that. We're going to move on to the next one. Just finished up with barn bees and I really should have kept the camera on because those bees are like always. Barn bees are so aggravated and active soon as i opened them up and got down below that honey super and opened it up man they were all over me um they're still i'm over here uh next to family bees and they're still on me um but i'm okay i'm okay um but yes so uh barn bees doing great they had tons of brood in that top eight frame box tons of honey so they should be filling that honey super up anytime now so let's get into um Family bees, again, family bees was a split off of FedEx bees. Now, family bees had tons of brood in it, but not much honey, not much nectar. It was FedEx bees the other day that had all honey. I mean, it was two eight, eight frame deeps of honey, and the super was. So they had tons of honey, but I didn't see a single egg, or I didn't see a single uh, brood, I didn't see a single larva. So when I, I brought the brood over to them and brought some honey over to here, well, let's hope they've got some honey now. I got a super on here. Let's hope if they got some honey now, let's hope that uh, FedEx bees has some brood. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to bring a, uh, keep doing that till I can g get them queened up. A little late in the season for them to be queening, that's for sure, but. Excuse me, what did you say? I didn't stutter. I got some strong colonies here. So let's go ahead and get inside. Yeah, nice. Lots of bees. Anytime you hear a beekeeper say lots of bee, lots of bees, <laughs> that's a good thing. You want lots of bees. You open up a box and there's hardly any bees in it. That's not very, not very fun. It means you, uh, as a landlord, you're not doing a very good job. All right, honey super. I smell honey. You can actually smell honey, guys. You really can. Let's see the. Um, Let's see how the small hive beetle situation is. Not too bad. Not too bad. They sure have propolized these though. Yeah, not too bad on the small hive beetles in here. I'm curious of how the honey situation is. All right. They've got a little bit of nectar brought in there. Everything's being drawn out. You know, everything's, be oh yeah. So they get towards the centers where you start seeing it all built up first. Little bit. Okay, that one, that one. Oh yeah. Y'all can see in the light there. I don't know if there's any light. 
There is nectar in this one. This one's pretty, oh, that side there is really full of nectar. So, oh, check this out. This was a foundationless that they filled out themselves. And you can see the little hole. It's like cis Swiss cheese, but all that white, all that white is all brand new. Brand new wax. So they are doing good. They are doing good. So let's go ahead and close this up. They got everything good here. And let's get down in and see what's going on. This is, again, this is the one that had tons of honey and no, uh, make sure I get this backwards. Tons of brood and no honey, okay? There we go, propylized. Oh, a little heavier, a little heavier. Set that on its side there. Lots of bees. Oh my goodness, look at what they've done to the, uh, <laughs> the Swiffer sheets. I'll get more Swiffer sheets. Oh, they have propylized this up like crazy. All right, get those things off of there. A few small hive beetles in there. Lots of propylization. All right. So now I want to see that these ladies have gotten some honey. I mean, they've, they, since the fact they had some up there means they probably got some down here now. Because, But they had tons of brood last time. Oops. All right. Make some room. There we go. Get that up. Come on. It's, they get all that propyl, propylization. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, they've got honey, that's for sure. That that one there, that is solid honey. So solid. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they filled that. Look how dark that is, guys. Look how dark that honey is. Set that one on the outside. Here's a brand new frame I put in, and they uh starting to fill it up. Getting to building the comb on beautiful brand new white comb. Lots of honey here. Lots of honey. Oh my goodness, that's all honey. And there's brood. All right, so we've got honey and brood in um, in um, family bees here. I'm just gonna go one more over. That's really all I wanted to see is honey and brood. Man, her her pattern, her pattern is perfect. She has a beautiful laying pattern. So this was actually FedEx Bee's queen. You know, when I split them, I bring FedEx queen, bee, uh, um, queen over here, and then uh, they made their own new queen. So that's why she's probably having a harder time. She might not have been in that, that, that good of a queen. But uh, man, so I am done in here, everyone. We'll get some more Swiffer sheets on. And, uh, but they've got brood, they've got honey. Happy landlord. So here's the one I'm scared of. This is FedEx bees that did not have any brood, no eggs and no uh, larva. I don't see a lot of bees up here either. Um, you know, if there's no queen, the numbers will diminish quickly. I see lots of bees down here though, but the numbers will qu qu uh, diminish quickly without a queen. You know, a 45 day life cycle of a bee, 28 days uh, larva, you know, brood gestation. Bees don't live that long, so if you don't have a queen producing thousands of eggs a day, one to two thousand eggs a day, you ain't gonna have any bees in about a, a month. You know, they're gone. So, we'll see. It's been a couple weeks. We'll see if, uh, I don't see much bees up here in this honey super. I don't see many bees up here in this honey super. And you can also tell because um, the Swiffer sheet's not propylized as much. But um, let's go ahead and, yeah, I don't see, yeah, hardly any, hardly any comb built out on these. So they're, they're not filling up up here. Um, they had tons of honey though down below, but they didn't have any, um, any eggs. So let's get down there and see what we've got as far as brood. Okay, I see some bees there. Not super, super many. The, um, a lot of propolis on the, oh, look at that. Small hive beetle situation. I didn't see a lot of live ones running around. That's good. Get that off my hand there. Beetle buster. See if it's in how it's doing. Uh, it's still, still viable. I'll leave that there. All right. Now let's get in and see if we see any brood. That's what I'm super, super 
excited about to see if I see any brood. Get this propolis off there. I do that for me, not for them, just so it's easier for me to get in and out. So, from this day forward, your sorry asses belong to me. You will not eat, sleep, drink, blow your nose, or even dig in your butts without my say so. All right. I'm going to take out one of these center ones that normally you wouldn't take the center ones out because um, risk of the, but this was a brand new one that I'd put in there so it doesn't have hardly anything on it. So I can get that one out pretty safely. Yeah, there we go. Nothing on it. Nothing on it. But that gives me room to work now. All right. Remember I said there was lots of honey and no brood two weeks ago. Lots of honey, no brood. They had tons of brood over there and no honey. All right. Well, guys, brand new brood. Now, I don't, I don't know if that's one that I put in. Gotta be, I'll, I'll have to be careful with that. I don't know if that's one I put in. But we got nectar. We got honey. Oh, we got brood on that side, too. That's wonderful. That is super wonderful. I'm going to set this off to the side here. Now, I'm curious if I keep seeing it. If I keep seeing it. Okay. So, and I didn't see a big queen cell. All right, we got more new brood and we got some drone brood. Means they may have uh, made themselves a queen out of that. And uh, they raised drone up to, to get her virginized or <laughs> to get her mated. But um, we've got new brood. This is not, this. I only put like two in here. And you can, oh yeah, both sides. Both sides, that's great. Lots of bees in the bottom. Sorry if I'm yelling in your ear there, guys. I get excited, I get excited. Oh, new brood, new brood, lots of honey. Queen's doing great. Look down there, I got tons and tons of bees. I'm not going any deeper. Next thing we're gonna do is move over to Hatmaker Colony. Hatmaker, see how Queen Ernie's doing. I see a lot of activity over there in her. Put that in the center so they can fill that up. So guys, when they start running out of space, they will come up and start filling our super up with, uh, with honey, they sure will. So. FedEx bees got a queen. I don't know how they did it. I don't know if they made a new one or or she was in there all along and just kind of slowing down a little bit, uh, making space. Um, sometimes they do that. They get they, they they get a little cold spell come through or and they go, oh, it's winter time. I need to stop laying eggs. I don't know, but uh, it's it's warmer today. It's in the 80s, but uh, FedEx bees doing good. Let's move over to Ernie Hatmaker and Queen Hat Queen Ernie in Hatmaker Colony. So Queen Ernie is doing well. Let me see, I'll pull one of these new frames off the side here. Get that up out so I can make me some space. Checking stuff, that's empty. Okay, now I just added this. Remember, I just added this eight frame. And uh, oh, oh my goodness. All right, right, we've they've already built all this out with wax and there's fresh brand new honey. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Fresh brand new honey. So. We're coming on in. Oh yes, this skin, this box was empty not too long ago, and that is all honey at the top and so so much nectar. Look at that, guys! So much nectar. It makes me so happy to see all that honey at the top there. Beautiful, brand new wax. Again, this 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 is a brand new frame I put in here that had no comb on it, and they have filled it up just in the last two weeks. Here's an older one I gave them, and they've got, oh, they've got brood on here. Queen Ernie is doing it. Let's see if I, oh, ooh, we got some um, swarm cells at the bottom here. I got to uh, see if there's anything in there. Nope. Nope. Okay, so that, I'll get that off of there. They, there's no reason for them to swarm, but they got, they got more than enough room. No reason for them to swarm, that's for sure, especially this late in the year. Oh, my goodness. Look at what she's done here. Again, nothing, nothing in any of these. Okay, they're just they're just making preparations, but you guys don't need to. It's too late in the year, but Queen Ernie has just done a beautiful job. Ernie Hatmaker, if you're listening to this, your your uh, B version is doing awesome. All right. Again, I'm not gonna. Oh, Queen has done great. I'd love to see Ernie today if I. She jumps out at me here, but uh, if she doesn't, 
Again, I'm not going to go too far down in there. Don't want to disturb the bees too much. Doug and I were just talking about that, you know. Spend nine hours in your in your colonies. All you do is aggravate the bees and you end up killing a bunch of them. I'm just checking the status. You know, landlords go through and they check their apartments, their houses, right? Make sure the people are treating it properly and not, not got too many people live in there, right? One family, one queen in my apartment here, guys, okay? Do not attempt to challenge my authority. Um, but Queen Ernie, you're doing good. It's a, it's a single family home, okay? And uh, she's doing it just right. I'm just gonna go a little bit farther over. I do see honey and I do see um, brood. So that's exactly what I wanna see, honey to top. Oh, there's Queen Ernie, woohoo! Everybody see Queen Ernie right there? Queen Ernie, make sure I get her on this film, on the video. Queen Ernie right there. I'll let you all see it too. Where does she go? Does she run around this side? Where does she go? I don't want to drop her, that's for sure. Do you see Queen Ernie? All right. She's elusive. Oh, there she is. Okay. She's right there at the bottom of the frame. Do y'all see her at the bottom? She's right in that little crevice. Right in that little crevice, walking up the corner. There she is. Now she's coming back. Now she's circling back down. Queen Ernie doing her thing. Let's get her back in there. Don't want anything hap want anything to happen to Queen Ernie. Get her right back down in there, gently as I can. All right, off to the side. So now I've seen the queen, seen honey, seen nectar, seen pollen, seen all the goodies. Actually, I'm gonna bring this over. I'm gonna put this a little more towards the center. That way, um, less likely they'll um, try to swarm, having seen all this extra space in there. There we go. There we go. Queen space is just right. Uh, B space is just right. So that is our inspections of the uh, colonies today. Major things happening in the Ridge Apiary. We'll wrap it up here in just a second. Let me uh, close this colony up. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's inspection of our, our hives in the apiary, and we are so upset about what happened to buck bees, but it was our fault. Um, we introduced them improperly. We didn't take heed to the warnings of our mentors about how to transfer the comb, and that's, that, again, that's our fault. I'll say it again, we are not caretakers of these bees. We, we don't control them. They are wild creatures. They do what they do. We are just landlords. We give them a place to... Uh, stay and we charge them rent in honey um, we have we enjoy what they do for us and we enjoy watching them enjoy you know their their life cycle is amazing and uh i'm hoping i don't get stung here but uh the other hot colonies are doing great we're so happy with how they're doing we've got five thriving colonies here you know barn bees here is my is my mean and crazy hive but you know they're strong they're mean and crazy, but they're strong, and that's a good thing. So uh, all the colonies are doing well. We, we should get some a good amount of fall honey here uh, from all these beautiful flowers here in West Tennessee in the fall. I'm going to show some video here at the end of some beautiful flowers we have um, right here in the apiary and then around uh, the ridge. The, f the pictures you're going to see are taken here in West Tennessee. Uh, beautiful flowers uh, of what our honey this fall is being made of. Now spring honey is mostly a good a, a light clover honey, which is so light and delicious. Fall honey is a little stronger, takes a little more of an acquired taste, but, but I love it. I, I love fall honey here on the ridge. So guys, watch the video at the end, watch the pictures at the end of these, of these beautiful bees and the beautiful flowers, and uh, make sure you check back next time. Subscribe to Ridge Life if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.
Thank you, Major. I love you.